I am trying to figure out what this little creature is here. Is it a pig? Okay, I need another hand. This is <laughs> this is one of those little Okay, I'm doing this one-handed. I'm doing it one-handed. He's um um <laughs> I'm not exactly sure. Oh, that's got some interesting vibe going. Oh, and I'll address that in a moment. <laughs> My goodness oh my goodness this week it has been I it's been a week <laughs> um, I got some really really discouraging news a little bit ago and um, I, you know I get a lot of comments about you know how positive I am and stuff but I'm not I, I'm, I'm, I'm struggling I'm struggling today a little bit and and I wanted to I wanted to just be transparent and say that because I don't want everyone to think that I've just got everything all figured out and I'm happy all the time and you know sometimes what I have learned is we have to you know what stand by I'm gonna turn my air down a notch so it's not so loud that was pretty loud um, that sometimes being positive and happy is like exercise it's, it's like, you know, you need to go to the gym, you know, because you're going to feel better when you do. So it's the same thing as like kind of training your brain to focus on what's good and what's positive and what's awesome. So I'm, I'm here at Savers cause it's 25% off day and all the way here, I am, I am literally like making my brain think of all that is right in my life right now, because I am so extremely blessed. And um, I have, I am surrounded by things that I love and surrounded by people that I love. Um, I just want to say Carrie, everybody needs a Carrie in their life. Uh, she is the most, not only is she an amazing employee, she is an amazing friend and confidant. And um, I just want to say, I just want to publicly put that out there that, um, my life is so much better because Carrie is in it. And um, so she, she kind of knows this mood I'm in today. She's not with me right now because Carrie went all the way down to the antique mall where I have a booth to go pay the rent for me because tomorrow is like the deadline. And I'm just like, and I needed to go make a video. <laughs> anyway, I'm kind of rambling on. But, but just what I want to say is that uh, sometimes finding that positivity is not easy but once you start working it once you start making the little connections click you can usually get over whatever that thing is that's bringing you down have a friend that you talk it out with go thrifting which is what I'm gonna do right now and I'm gonna take all of you with me so let's go do this let's get in there and let's see what we can find I am going to be super picky because I've had two really good shopping trips in a row. So I'm looking for extra special stuff this time. Uh, so with that, let's get in there. Let's get shop done. I am at Savers. All right, let us pick a lucky cart. I'll take this one. Our first little section I come to is the holiday stuff. This is kind of cute. Look at, they're in a greenhouse. Who makes you? You are, it doesn't say. Sometimes some of the Mr. Christmas stuff can be pretty valuable. Oh, was worth checking out. All right, I don't see too much here. I'm here kind of later in the day. And so they have probably been pretty well picked over, but I'm actually okay with that. I'm looking usually for things that nobody else is looking for. Or very few people are looking. Well, I don't know. I'm training a lot of you locals now to look for the same thing. So there is that. 
So I always love to pick up these little mid-century acrylic lucite, if you will, um, trivets. This one is $4.99 and I do get 25% off. So uh, they don't sell for a lot, but they, I mean, they're super popular and they sell easily and quickly. So I am going to pick this one up. Okay. See, this is interesting. Um, a while back, I did a video showing savers actually throwing stuff in a trash can. Now, it, this has been here for well over a month. Nobody's going to buy this. So, I mean, if you're going to toss something, that would be like the thing to toss. But it just apparently shows that they're not doing that anymore, maybe. Gotta wonder. Gotta wonder. I mean, I'm not, I'm not encouraging it by any means. Don't, don't get me wrong. I'm just saying. It probably should have never come out on the shelf. Um, this is a little vintage souvenir of the Ozarks. Now, normally I wouldn't be super interested in that, but you know, the Ozarks is an extremely popular uh, Netflix series. And um, this might have a little bit more sell through value uh, than it would have otherwise, but I'm going to leave it. It's probably even, even if it was popular, it's probably less than a $20 piece. And I'm going to try to stick to my guns on keeping with $20 and over this time. Doesn't mean I won't look though. I'll always look at everything, you know, like a little shell of shells. These look interesting. Look at that design. Hmm. I thought maybe they would be like a wade, um, but they're not marked. And they are $6 each, so those will have to stay. Oh, look. There's another trivet. This one's got a carousel horse in it. For $3.99, we'll take that one too. I am trying to figure out what this little creature is here. Is it a pig? I think it's supposed to be a pig. It's a little stoneware pig planter. Hmm. I don't know how I feel about you. I'm gonna leave him for now. If he calls to me when I go do my little second pass, maybe I'll grab him. So I always try to do like a second pass through. I don't usually do it on camera. I do it off camera where I can focus a little more in case I miss something. Don't worry, I'll always show you if I find something. Look at this little cute little pigs. They are, they appear to be vintage, but this is like a plastic base. So I am gonna leave that too. Oh, look at all of these boxes with the laser cut things in them. You put the sticker over where you can see where it is. Hmm. Are they all the same? They look like they're all the same though. Let's see. Is it a boat? Oh, it's a, um, looks like a shield or like a coat of arms. I know that that's not coming through at all. Coat of arms, shield. And I think they are probably all the same. Someone probably had those made for like a family function. These are cool. These little metal flowers. There's just something very appealing about those. I wish they weren't five dollars each. That's the only drawback on these. But I think I will put those in my cart and contemplate them. Okay, I need another hand. This is <laughs> this is one of those little. Okay, I'm doing this one-handed. I'm doing it one-handed. I can do this. This is one of those little pop-up puppet guys. <laughs> Um, look, he's a chef. He does look like he's got some age on him. I have no clue what these sell for, but he's fun. And sometimes I just have to break my rules for something that's, you know, fun. So we're going to get him for $3.99. Let's see what that Mexico Juarez. What do you call that when it's like over the fabric? don't remember. I don't remember. But I bet one of you guys knows. 
Let's see. Pretty platter. Tatung, made in Taiwan. Mexican flower pottery plate. Probably a redware that's been painted, but nope, I think we're going to pass. Okay, let's take a peek through the candle section because you just never know what's going to end up in the candle section. Kind of pretty. Kind of pretty. These little houses. Hmm. Oh, look at you. All made of, looks like made of paper or cardboard. It's interesting. All right. Still hoping to find one of those very, very special, special candle holders here. Oh, it's kind of cool with the uh, ship on it. It's got an etched ship. I don't know that this is a $20 piece though, but it is awful pretty. $3.99. Okay, you know what? I'm going to put it in the cart. Maybe I'll change my mind. Maybe I won't, but we're going to put it in the cart for now. Interesting shades. Got a little bird here. Don't know who makes you. Definitely not a $20 piece. Nor is this, but this has some age on it. But I think it would have set inside something else. See that little inset bottom there? So if it was complete, it would probably be a $20 piece. Oh my goodness. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Looking high and looking low. Or something cool to go in the cart. Saw these little cobalt blue moon and stars. Now I I am pretty sure these aren't a twenty dollar item, but I also know that Carrie really really loves her moon and stars items. So I'm gonna pick these up for Carrie. These are interesting. Oh, they're heavy. Hmm. Oh, they go this way. The candle sits in there. That's why. Looking for a name. I don't see one. Yeah, so they sit. It's a heavy, heavy crystal. Kind of nice, but I'm going to leave those for someone else. Oh, I do like these, though. Mmm, I love the black glass and the fact that there is a pair. So they're $3.99 each, but I do get a discount. So they would be about six bucks for the pair. I gotta grab those. Oh my goodness, let's see. Tins. I'm not buying any more tins right now. Unless it's super interesting, like an old Girl Scouts tin. 2017. It's not old. It fooled me. All right. All right. Here's all of their dolls or like collector dolls as opposed to like play with dolls that would be over in the toy section. Not seeing anything too exciting. I'm always also looking for bunnies by the bay that they sometimes throw into this section. They kind of look like this. Who are you? Do you have a tag? You do not. No, you don't feel like a bunny by the bay. You feel like a handmade bunny. You're cute. Stand you up a little bit so people can see you a little more. There you go. There you go. Oh, let's see. Little crochet dollies. Kind of stuff that I grew up with cute little piggy. I'm always on the lookout too for giveaways for my live sales so I am looking for that type of thing. What is this guy doing? He's um um <laughs> I'm not exactly sure what this is. What are you? Is it anybody know? I don't know what his purpose is. What 
I don't know. I don't know. We've got alien jailbreak down there. Ooh, what are you? Oh, you got a golfer on there. That's not exciting to me. Might be exciting to you golfers out there, but definitely not something I ever got into. Cute little pity baskets, $3.99. This looks like, like a stone critters kind of a pig. Don't know if you are though. <laughs> this is a pig with a pig on it for six ninety nine. Uh, let's see. Oh, more! Somebody gave up their little piggy collection. Me thinks. Oh, this guy's kind of cute. It looks like he would have had a little candle. They're always super lightweight. Super duper lightweight. Oh my goodness, there is piggies for days. I think this is the same one that was here, yep, with the damage. This is an Onyx horse head bookend for $10, which no can do. Oh, look at a mushroom with a frog bank. I think, did I? I think gray, gray is the color. I was thinking that purple might be the color, but nonetheless, this is pretty cool. Uh, I, get, I do get 25% off, so I'm gonna get the uh, mushroom with the frog bank. Oh, that's got some interesting vibe going. Oh, and I'll address that in a moment. <laughs> oh, it's a scarecrow. Scarecrow, and I'm finding the mama pig back here. Now mama pig's pretty darn cute with all her little piglets and she's an Ainsley from England. Fine porcelain. It's a sow and litter. It's a 1975 piece for $3.99. So that one we will for sure pick up. And then let's draw our attention to the um, interesting uh, vegetable mask kind of a thing here. This probably is like ridiculously valuable. <laughs> I don't know, stuff like this usually is. We'll find out more about it when we get it home because we are gonna buy it uh, $5.99 minus 25%. I see more cute little piggies. He's a roller skating piggy. All right, he's pretty darn cute, but he's been broken. I, a little too much roller skating, I think, dude. Gotta lay off the roller skating and you won't break your arms. This looks like a quarry critters. <gasps> I've never seen them make pigs. Oh, $4.99. Uh, we will grab you. I think any of these pigs that I buy will end up in my live sales. Oh, he's got a... Is he a broken ear? Oh, no. It's just a crunkled ear. He's just crunkled. Looks like he's got a barcode underneath there. So not a super valuable guy. No, he's very lightweight. Very, very lightweight. It's got no substance to him. I'm trying to get back here to the little piggy wall hanging. $5.99. I'm trying to figure out how vintage he is. They used a paper clip to make the hanger part. Was that a thing? Was that what you did back in the day? You used a paper clip? I, he's just, I don't know, his eyes aren't really that great. Let me just take a peek at all these little piggies. Mm, $7.99 on that one. $6.99. These will be here for a while at those prices, so. Yeah, oh. He's pretty cute, though. $6.99, though. Darn. Which is this one? No price. What does that say? Something wholesale. Ohio Wholesale, China. All right. Maybe I'll check back next week and see what's here. And maybe on a different color. This guy hangs. And uh, he's a fun little guy. 
So he would be seven fifty with the discount because he's ten bucks. I don't know. There's something just a little bit creepy about him, though. So yeah, I think I'll wait on that one. Are you old? Not horribly. Not horribly. All right. Well, if I passed up one of these little piggies that. You're, you're bummed out about. Let me know down in the comments. I don't live too far from this store. I could, I could be encouraged to come back and pick up some of those pigs. I just don't know which ones are tickling people's fancy. I do like that little bunny too. Like those are cute too, but hmm. yeah, it's somebody's whole pig collection see what else. We're not done yet. There's more pigs. Oh, he's missing an ear. And somebody's dolphin collection. Kind of looking for the one that's a little bit realistic. Yeah. Let's see who makes you. You are not marked. Okay. Not marked. Nice looking. They're just not marked. Hmm. Got some age on it. Oh, there we go. It's from Germany, 1981. Something Wonder, Wander Tag, Oberhanbrunn. Not super exciting. Another little porcelain piggy bank. This little hamburger press had the paint. Been good on this. I would have picked this up. Um, but that paint is quite a mess. Oh, and I see a cute little hedgehog. Oh, it just says grandpas are lovable. I mean, grandpas are lovable, but I was hoping it was more generic than um, grandpa specific. Okay, let's see down here. Is there anything? Got some choking art. This looks like the same stuff that mask was made from. It is Decorato Amano. I'm kind of thinking it's Italian, Majolica. It's got an interesting look, but I think I'm gonna stick with the weird mask one this time. All right, who are you little duckies, anybody? Oh, they're home co. I can see it underneath there, they're home co. All right, that's it. Reproduction cast iron door stop down here. These don't bring much because of their weight. That shipping on that's going to be so much. A couple of little cookie jars and that's about it for this shell. All right, we've got baskets and fake flowers. This one kind of caught my eye. It's a fairly unusual fake plant with the um, the red toe. I know, I know that's a specific kind of plant. I can't think of the name of it. That's a really, that's a nice, that's a nice big plant. It is indeed. There's some nice Asian vases. They don't have a lot of age on them though. Maybe 90s. And when you're talking Asian antiques and collectibles, they need to be a lot older than the average like American collectible. That's just a thing in that collectible world. What are these? Seaside Riviera. Oh, they're frank, fragrant sachets. Ooh, that's an onyx uh, vase with something funky in it. There we go. It's nice. Um, they are asking $15.99 though, but didn't I see that gray? I think gray is the half price color, so it would be seven fifty. I'm not exactly sure how much these vases are bringing, so I may look this up. I'm once again super disappointed that oh, so many sellers are pricing things so cheap when they don't need to. I mean, come on, this people have this priced for ten dollars and under. This is easily a twenty-five to thirty dollar piece, easily, if everybody would just keep the value up but that's what happens and then we have a horse planter 
He's only $4.99. Are you broken anywhere? I don't think you are. All right. Okay, well that kind of that kind of makes up for uh, the big price on the marble one. It's a nice little kind of a succulent little box, but so I know Noah has plenty of plants in his room now. We did the uh, reveal of his room a little bit ago, and then Noah got sick, so he hasn't been doing much of anything, especially not cleaning his room. So we haven't been able to do like the final showing you his whole new thing that he bought. He put together this whole simulation racing rig, <laughs> like I guess you call it. I'm sure he's going to fill a comment up here in the corner somewhere and tell you all about it. Uh, because a lot of you have heard me talk about how Noah really, really wants to be an F1 driver, Formula One racing. And so he's put himself together a whole simulator thing and he plays and I don't quite understand it all, but he loves it. So we'll, we'll show that in a video soon once he's back up to full speed and able to get his room all fixed up again. He's just got a lot of boxes everywhere. Okay, I see this little guy probably came with a bowl under it. Super cute, super cute, but also super chipped. Looks like a hobby piece. Oh, it's got the chipmunk on that side. Yeah, it's signed on the bottom. 1984, Marley, June, 1984. So sad. All right, we'll keep moving. All right, this is their office supplies. I'm kind of on the lookout for some sketchbooks for Rachel. She did put in that request, but I don't see anything. And then we've got the the frame section here. Although I do see some corn holders over here. Unmarked, plain white. We'll leave those this time. Nope, I don't see anything calling my name. So even though this is not my niche at all, I do look through every single row because you just never know what got put into a section that where it doesn't belong to or if there's just some mind-blowing good thing that I need to pick up for a friend whose niche it is. But I don't see anything today. All right, it looks like this is kind of like their metal and wood section. Oh my goodness. Let's see if I can make a, let's see. C, A, let's see. I play this game online sometimes just to clear my head and it's like making words out of letters. I've got Chris. There's Chris here. There's Mr. There's Mitch. Oh my goodness. So many things you can make there. All right. I don't see anything super exciting. Oh, I see another pig though. He balances on something. What does he balance on? Mmm, he would have had like a little post that that sits on. I wonder if it's here somewhere in all of this kind of mess of metal. Anybody see it? I don't see it. Sadly, he's missing his little pole. It's a little jewelry box. Oh, it's very, very grungy inside. Oh, the drawers don't even pull out. It's just a... Okay, he's seen, he's seen better days. He has seen better days. That one. Oh, this is a vintage wall hanging. $4.99. It's that coppery brass. Seagull's wings need a little... need a little unbending, but it's only $4.99. Huh. I'll pick that one up. That's a nice size for shipping too. All right, let's see what else we got. Oh, somebody made a sunflower. No, is it? I think somebody made a sunflower out of clothespins. Now I'm not sure. It was my first inclination. What is this? A little train 
anything? It's got a little knob on the side. I'm trying to... Oh. Oh, it plays... Wonderful Life. Ro I've been working on the railroad, but where's the, where's the railroad? Where's the train? Oh, look. There's a second little clothespin sunflower kind of thing. Ooh. Do you have something in you? Reveal yourself. It's another box. <laughs> it's probably one of those box and a box and a box. And then there's a bear, bookend. Oh, I see a interesting piece of wood in here made by Barb's Utah Souvenirs from Duck Creek, Utah. Oh, it says Duck Creek, Utah on the front. Okay, dinosaurs. Dinosaurs are going to be kind of a big deal right now because of the new Jurassic Park movie. Or maybe they won't. <laughs> I don't know. It's always, it's always a crapshoot, you know? Sometimes movies make things go bonkers and sometimes it's just like, meh. Been there. Done that. Ooh, I like this frame. It's newer though. It's not actually old. Okay. <gasps> Give me a J. I found this little old toy on the shelf with these little blocks in it. Is this how it used to be done? How much are you? Oh, you're $2.50. You are missing one of the little dowels though. That wouldn't be hard to put back together, but do you have $20 of value? You know what? I'm going to leave you for somebody else because you're not quite my niche and you need repair. All right, I was crouching down here and I found me some birds. They are $3.99 each, but they're kind of cool little shore birds. Nice little look. So the $8 minus 25%, that's not bad. That's not bad. Those should sell for an easy 20 bucks or more. All right, let's see what we've got in the kitchen section. I do like these jars with the wood lids. Oh, you've got a name. Let's take a lid off and see what your name is. You are Baker Hart and Stewart. Genuine teak. Hmm. Teak is pretty hot. Even if these aren't mid-century, they fit in a mid-century decor. So for $3.99 and $4.99, I'm going to pick those up. And then I'm going to take a peek at this larger one. Are you the same? No, you say good wood. Oh, also genuine teak. So for $7.99, I'm going to pick up the cookie jar too. All right. Very happy with that little find. Moda Trina or Frina. Little matching pieces there. I'm not even going to look at platters. Don't need no platters, but I am going to join this guy with his friend over here so they can be found together. Oh, hello, $27.99 and $24.99 Pyrex. Uh, nope. Those, I'm pretty sure, will still be here when they go half price. And then even then, oh, good, look. There's more, 20 bucks, 15 bucks, 25 bucks. Um, yeah, no. All right, let's pop over to this side and see what goodies we can find. Oh, that's kind of pretty, isn't it? See how that just called me from a mile away? 05 by Scotty. Scotty painted that in 05. So it's not an antique. It's not anything really super special. It's just pretty. And in pretty value, it's probably like a $12 to $15 pretty value piece for $5, which is not a bad margin. It's not a horrible margin. Uh, but for me, I'm going to kind of stick to my, my rule of $20 and over as much as I can today. And I will leave that one for someone else. 
and we'll see what else we can find. What are you? Oh, just a plain little plate. Cute little teapot, but it, I just looked some of these up and they just don't bring a whole bunch. Sadly. Oh, I see a doggy plate under here. Sometimes these can be like pure one. Ah, well, would you look at that? Park Avenue Puppies. For $3.99, I will pick you guys up. All right. I see some roosters, too, that look pretty interesting. Oh, and you're gray, so you're half price. So why are you still here? Why are you still here? I mean, you don't have a name, but you're awful adorable. So for $3, I will rescue this one, too. And that's a piece I will probably put in one of my live sales. It's probably not worth me listing on eBay, but sometimes there's just some things I cannot pass by. You guys know that already, though. What do you say? I can't read what that says. Huh. I know it's Japan. Just can't totally read what else that says. He's not that exciting to me. So we will pass on him, finish off this row, see if there's anything else irresistible. These would be cute if they didn't say like Guam on them. I mean, they are, do the, the little holder thingies don't say Guam and they've got the little spoony things in there. Or do they say Guam? I don't know if they say Guam. Let's see if we can turn one and see. Does it say Guam on the... No, it doesn't. $3.99. I like those. I'm picking those up. All right, this is all cookware. I do kind of look at some of the pieces. Like that is Copco Denmark, but it is $30. So I will pass on that one and see if there's anything else here, but I'm thinking not. Going through the plastics. Every once in a while you find that little gem hidden in the plastic, so you gotta look. Look through all of it. I don't see too much calling me. We'll look at the Minnie Mouse and see what they are. Came out of the baggies. Oh yeah, we're going to hit the baggies. I always find things in the baggies. This is kind of a nice little, just plain little wood um, napkin holder, which eh, another day I might have been tempted to pick that up, but I'll leave it today. But this one, again, is that Lucite. Very vintage. Oh, is that broken though? Is it broken? Oh, it's broken. Well, that's a bummer. I would have gotten that had it not been broken. Kind of breaks my heart. All right. Looks like we won't be getting much off of this shelf today, but I am going to look at this because that's got a cool look to it. What could you do with that? Hmm. All right. We're going to leave you two. Entering the dishes aisle and the glass, glasses, drinking glasses. I saw this little set. The, the, it's $10 for the sugar and $7 for the creamer. And they're not marked or anything. They're just cute. So not having it on that. Their prices are a little bit all over the place. Some stuff's priced really, really well, and some stuff's priced like, pretty, really, really high. So as long as I can find good things and good prices, you know, I'll, I'll keep it up. Oh goodness, these are still here. I was torn on these last time, um, just because some of that gold is worn. They are super cool. I couldn't find a maker. Um, there's like three more that go with the set. It's all the stages of a horse's gallop. These two, I think, are the they are the same too. Gosh, darn it! No, no, no! I'm not gonna do it. I'm not gonna do it. 
<laughs> that was a tough one to leave behind though. You know, probably because it's horses. These are nice little Mexican blown glass goblets. I do like those, but again, that's the kind of thing I'm leaving today. I am going to leave that kind of stuff today. Let's see if there's anything super special. I'm looking like for like mid-century or like some really, really old EAPG even, or some like uranium glass, but I don't see anything on these shelves that I have to have today. Sometimes I do find good things kind of stuffed in this section. I'm not super motivated to dig tonight though. I really don't want to load my cart up too much. <laughs> I just don't. If something's really super obvious, I'll grab it. But other than that, I'm not, I'm not digging. I'm not digging. Let's see. Anything good in the kitchen baggies? No. I'll let you know if a baggie kind of screams at me. And then we'll look closer. But so far, nothing. Nothing, nothing. Hmm. I do have to get home and uh, set the trap for my little rat friend. Um, I don't know if I've mentioned it before in a video, but I was sitting there where I have cameras on my tortoises and I was sitting there and I was checking on the tortoises and all of a sudden here comes a big old rat crawling along one of the tortoise pens. And what freaks me out about it is rats can do harm to tortoises. So it's a little disturbing and I do need to get him out of there, but I'm not a, I'm not a killer. <laughs> so we've got a humane trap, but we're going to catch him and we're going to go find some nice field to go release him in. I gotta have peanut butter to set the trap. These are actually really nice shells. These are nice, uh, nice hermit crab shells, but I just, I don't trust putting like shells like that in without bleaching them first or something. And I, right now I don't have time to do that. So I will leave those. What are you guys little, almost like cupcake toppers, not even cake toppers little guys oh the baggies are not yielding as many cool things as usual sometimes it just goes that way although I do kind of like this there's an apple pin cushion there's a fun cow there is this um, marble egg and a wine stopper this is a pretty nice little baggie of stuff for six bucks I think I'll grab it and that's it for the baggies this time. Although there is a little miniature, little miniature china set. Let's take a little closer look at that. It's all little cups. Like there's no saucers. Just, oh, are these salts? <gasps> Wait a minute. Those are salt dishes. Ooh, $4.99 for all the little salt bowls. I'll get those. Oh, it seems like this last little uh, row of baggies is going to be the winner. There's a couple of uh, Day of the Dead little shadow box guys in there. And a painted shell. It's got somebody's name on it though, unfortunately. But I do love those two little uh, Day of the Dead shadow boxes. So this is $3.99. We're going to grab that. And then we are to the art. This piece is interesting. It's, um, oh, it's paper. It's a print, but look at, like, it's 3D. That, that did call to me, but it's, it's 3D. I mean, it's paper. So, so that's a no. Let's see what else we got. Mm. Oh little dinosaur claws. Oh, those are actually really cute. $3.99. They're from Hobby Lobby. Yeah, I can't pay $3.99 for them. Let's see what else we got. Let's see what else we got. You notice I'm standing kind of far back and that's usually how I shop the art. I'll stand back, 
see what like strikes up an emotion in me makes me go look closer like this guy it's got it's got it's personalized it's got names on it there's an old duels mirror that might be worth some money for someone but that's not my thing it's not my thing Oh, they've got furniture kind of out here in front of the arts. It's a little hard to get to it. But I don't see anything that I really need to get to this time anyway. So what's that one? Looks vintage. Polish lover, 24-hour service. Beer supplied. Bring your own kielbasa. Well, alrighty then. Alright, let's take a peek through the mugs that are on the end cap here. Oh, I see another 3D mug. This one's a German Shepherd. I just picked up a Basset Hound the other day. This one's $1.99 also. They're not worth a whole bunch, but people do love their doggies. Let's see, I see flamingos. It's a nice little set of flamingos from Sarah Miller, London. Oh, Port. Marianne and Pimpernel. Hey, we'll take that for $4.99. Mud love. Mud love. Yeah, Pimpernel, Port Marianne, anytime you can use those kind of keywords on an item, uh, that, that's a good day. You want those kind of keywords. Let's see, let's see a chicken. Crate and barrel chicken. Oh, what do you say on the other side? Oh, rise and shine. $2.99. Yeah. Not feeling that one as much. Oh, what do we got here? That's a oversized mug from Alaska Jacks. Marlene Anderson 1991. So it is vintage. Hugs and kisses from Alaska. All right, well, it's super cute, it's oversized, it's clean, and it's vintage. That one we'll grab. And right next to it, we've got a Texas, what I believe is a, oh, I thought it was a Starbucks. It's not a Starbucks. It's made to look like a Starbucks to fool us. Ooh, tricky, tricky. This is a stoneware duck, or ducks plural ducks that is a cool looking llama <laughs> who makes you signature housewares llama for $1.99 again super clean um, good for gift giving because that's what a lot of people do with mugs they'll find a mug to give someone as a gift and this is like a set so there is a panda bear and I see another one that is a raccoon yep it's the raccoon so that's cool let's see if there's another one seems like there should be one more right I'm not seeing one more which is probably why they're here somebody probably broke one so let's see let's see what we've got here we've got We got these three, $1.99 each. Oh, time to do a little peeking through the textiles. I do like the bunny towels. They're probably here because of Easter being over. Deborah Connolly designs. They're $2.50 each. Gosh, I'm gonna look up that maker and see if it's anybody. Cause I mean, there's people who love bunnies all year long. They don't say happy Easter, they're just, okay. So he's holding Easter eggs, but who's counting? Who's counting? Some of these aren't though. Some of them are just cute bunnies. So let me look up that name and see if that is worth picking up. Well, quick look up shows this is a good brand to pick up. So I'm gonna get all the bunny towels. Two of those, two of those, two of those, and that one in the front. And we'll just peruse through and see. Maybe a, a wayward bunny got popped in here. Royal Botanical Gardens, Victoria. That's interesting. Hmm. 
It's just a singleton though. That's mine. I'm trying to take my cart. <laughs> I left it at the end of the row. It's like, no, no, don't take my cart. I don't know what these are. Not sure. I guess, are they pillow things? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Let's see. Placements. Oh, apples. Let's figure out what those were. All right. Tablecloth. Cute little flowers. I like it. Kind of like it a lot. It brings me joy. I like pretty colorful flowers. Let's see who makes you. You're under here somewhere. I saw it. There it is. Domestications. Domestications. Okay, another one. I'm going to look up. Well, this is one of those ones I can't find an exact match, so I just have to make a decision based on my own gut feeling. It is $12.99. It would be 25% off of that, so it's a little under 10 bucks. It's a super nice tablecloth. Look at I'm talking myself into it. I kind of need it in my life. And they have a lot of curtains and drapes. I don't know what the market is for curtains and drapes. It's funny because this is the kind of stuff I shop for on eBay, but yet I don't think about listing it on eBay. Maybe I should. Maybe I should look closer. Birds. If I saw birds, I'd probably be compelled to try it, but nope. No birds. All right, this is where they put their lamps and some miscellaneous stuff. Looks like somebody just set this over here it's a little hobby piece one there's more lamps nothing real exciting oh well, there is a little pig on a hammock oh she's broken she's broken she's about to fall off her hammock yeah let's see the consensus right now too is i need more of a shade like this for that rooster lamp so i might be on the lookout for something appropriate. Oh, I don't see anything here though. I see this one little guy hanging out on the shelf up here. I know a little girl that would like this a whole lot. And he's actually vintage too. I just spotted this little children's quilt. Oh look, it's actually handmade. Mount Diablo Adult Ed Scrappy Quilters. J. Pete, 2018. It's handmade and it's only $3.99 and it is fabulous. And there's another one. I don't know if it's the same makers. Let's see. Let's see if it's got a signature. It doesn't, but it's super definitely a hand quilted piece with beautiful colors. Doesn't look like it's ever been used for $2.99. But wait, there's more. There's another one. This one is also $2.99. We'll grab that one too. These two are very, very similar, just different colors. Looks like they were made by the same person. I'm really excited about that. The uh, toy section has definitely seen some action today. But I just looked up and saw this. Which I do believe is a briar. Yep, there is the briar symbol right there on the leg. Yeah, it's a little scuffed up, but Rachel is actually painting these and, and I forget what they call it again. Um, there's a whole market for redoing these and giving them different colors. And, and so uh, $3.99, we'll grab that. And I know earlier I called her a little girl and I got to tell you, you know, she's my little girl, but um, she is growing by leaps and bounds. She's certainly no little girl anymore. So I don't want uh, anybody to think that I'm causing her any offense by calling her a little girl. <laughs> she's a very, very capable young teenager. That's a uh, Scooby-Doo that's got batteries of some sort, but I see 
Oh, you would have had a hat, huh? Because you're, who are you? Are you sneezy? Are you Doc? Who, no, Doc has glasses. I'm not sure which one you are, but you're a little, you're a little rough. And then I see, um, I see Big Bird back here. Some of these Sesame Street characters can be worth some money, but usually not the Coles. The Coles are pretty mass produced. Oh, but then look at a Squishmallow just fell right into my hands. So I will pick up the Squishmallow bunny for $4.99. All right, let's see what else is hiding up here then. Hmm, you got more Squishmallows hiding in here. We've got Nemo. Oh, I got this beautiful tiger. These are really tough to ship though because they don't, they don't fold, you know, like some of the other plush you can kind of squish. So I stay away from these big guys now. It used to be a supermarket for those when shipping was reasonable. I did a lot of business with very, very large plush. Oh, who are you? You are just a little bit on the creepy side, I must say. Okay. Uh, I think that's it for the really great plush. I do see it looks like Grumpy down here. Again, missing his hat. All right. Oh, my last little place I'm hitting is the purses and I don't have time to go through them thoroughly because they're getting ready to close and I have to go check out. Oh, this is Harry Potter. $14.99 though. But I think I just found my absolute score of the day. Oh, $14.99 on that one too. <laughs> that's, that's tempting. That's tempting. But no, 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 no. Here's what we got. This right here. It's beaded, it's all beaded, but that's not the best part. Wait till I show you the brand. Ha ha, wait till I show you the brand. If you can see it, see it? It's a Fendi and it looks and feels legit and it is only $7.99 with 25% off. Yeah, baby. And then I just found this. It's not super old, but it is all hand beaded just a beautiful like cobalt blue purple shimmery um, it's in really good condition it doesn't have a name I don't think unless there's something on that snap right there something victory victory it does say it's, it's handmade in China I don't know I'm like I'm really drawn to this so it's going to be about eight bucks. I think I'll pick that one up too. I'm a little bit of a sucker for the beaded purses. I, I do like them. I like selling them. I'm, I'm kind of drawn to picking them up. So that's why I picked those two. All right. I'm headed to go do the old cash out thing here. It's all self cashiered and no bags. And it takes a while to, to check out here. So headed to go do that. Stay tuned for the recap. I'll tell you everything that I bought, what I paid, and how much it's worth on eBay after I research all of the items and give you actual sold comps. All right, that's coming up right now.
that's a wrap. And just like that, my bad grumpy mood is gone and that's how I do it. <laughs> I still ended up with a cart full. I just don't know how not to end up with a cart full, I guess. It is what it is. Lots of great stuff. I actually am loving those bunny towels. I mean, bunnies are not my thing. I mean, bunnies are my thing. But as far as decorating, bunnies aren't my thing. But I still love those bunny towels. I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do with those. They may end up in a live sale. I don't know. I just don't know. I'm pretty happy with my purchases. And um, now I got to get my car empty because I have to take Rachel to horseback riding at 8 a.m. in the morning tomorrow. We are on summer hours. No more evening, afternoon horseback riding. We are doing early mornings now. Um, so we're going to go do that tomorrow morning. And then tomorrow night, I'm going back to the swap meet with my friend, Sunny Las Vegas. Because it was so good last time. Why not go again? <sighs> I'm not sure I'm going to hit yard sailing this weekend. We'll see. We'll see. I got a lot going on. I got a lot going on, uh, which I will all reveal to you soon. Now, remember, Monday is my live thrifting for my members who signed up for the Niche Nation perks. Uh, you can check that out by hitting that little join button. It, it doesn't instantly join you. You get to check out what it's all about and what's included. But if you're a reseller who is struggling with shipping, uh, or if you're a reseller who's just struggling with, you know, staying positive, I use those Monday mornings not just to show you shipping and answer your shipping questions, but also to try to answer all of your e-commerce questions, give you some one-on-one -on -one coaching for your business, and motivate you. That's what I'm here for. All right, so check that out. And until then, and as always, go be profitable and make it fun. We'll see you on the next one.